Blessed day, my viewers and my subscribers. Before I jump into the topics, I beg enough to hit that like button. It will be greatly appreciated. Now, the topics coming up in this video. Dancehall artist Vibes Cartel received serious warning after being transferred to a new location. Bujubantan website accused of fraudulent activities. TJ Bash after bigging up dancehall artist Alkaline. Spice reacts to Jada Kingdom signing big contract. And Demarco celebrates his gold plaque after partaking in Charlie Black song. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Vibes cartel receiving a serious warning in people and of course we know so a few days ago we have learned that vibes cartel was transferred to a new location and a lot of persons are speculating so because them find phone in him cell because of this because of that you understand now i do not know if vibes cartel use phone in a prison i never seen with my own eyes you understand people now this live that i'm going to play because i'm going to play instagram live the person who attack him also i said the bloggers them see the vibes cartel bloggers them the one them was a gaza them are the one where actually a bait up the artist you understand where them are promote or a put out certain things so to be honest people me can't really agree with him with that part because at the end of the day bloggers talk about things where them say upon the internet right so even if vibes cartel page post something a lot of persons are gonna run with it not only who represent vibes cartel but anyway i'm also say vibes cartel him for stay away from phone all together because right about now we hear them dep on maximum lockdown we hear them and watch him like a hawk 24 7. now all of this is not really confirmed the only thing what we can say confirm is that them did actually move him because him liar come out and say that so we know at least that part of it is true you understand people but let me get into this video and as usual only can tell me if you not agree or not you understand if you don't feel like the bloggers are to be blamed or if a cartel himself will be blamed for the transfer because trust me people them not just move the artist for nothing at all or something why them actually move him but let's get into the video now these little internet termites vice cartel that you're entertaining that have beat you up and have put you in a problem because first of all none of these people used to come up on the internet and say them around blogging page they're only using your name and look at money where they might get to call your name that means they can build for them platform and here what happened cartel where you put yourself in a trouble why you're the inner where you're in right now is because guess what happened the same old scoundrel them where you sit down and a feed and you sit down and a entertain and a help them them i tell them girls say oh this is what i go and rate blah 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 and all that and so forth and them woman they know I take the message and go tell them friend over there so then friend over there so say you know you say my man say cartel this and cartel that and cartel do this and cartel do that and so and guess what happened it reached right back around to the people that went not supposed to reach back to and all of these combabulated people you see on the net of carry on and so forth about them are gaza they ain't no gaza they're glad that you're in jail like me they can't get little free money they can't get little big up and whatever it is and cartel i am telling you can nobody not you make a fool out of yourself be like ninja man be like ninja man stay away from me that stay away from everything stay away from phone right stay away from phone you are causing a problem for yourself and you cannot be appealing a case and then at the same time you're appealing a case want to win a case after they already charge you for murder already you see what i'm saying whether it goes or whether it close or so and at the same time you're putting yourself in other problem with these non-entity convabulated people where you sit down and entertain you are entertaining them you, you you're letting money from Ustavan send money to Ustavan and every minute there's a vice cartel song come out and all of these people they're not keeping their mouth them see him on a call inspector and them see him on a call and a report and I say A, B and C. See them now, right? You're under heavy security. You're under heavy soldier security. And not only that too, remember you were down there before and then move over the other place. Remember the problem that you didn't have over there before with them other person that not calling the name, right? And then move it because you and the other person could not agree and could not be in one place and then move it over. So see them now, they move it back down a yard they now. Hmm? Then move your back. You breeding up these termites. You breeding up these termites. And guess what happened? You're breathing, breaching a lot of things. I know you're going back down the sun now. And guess what happened? So all of these termites that you've been, that you've been sitting and 
that 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 been entertaining and that can name out of your pocket and claim say them a Gaza all of one never Gaza and whatever it is now. Where these termites are? Can these termites help you? Hmm? Let me ask you a question. The hardest thing is that when a government official at Jamaica put you in a situation, they not gonna make you turn around and prove them wrong or embarrass them. You cannot have the door open, brother, and you turn around and make a fool out of yourself and make these non-entity people that is not going anywhere, that nobody never had follow them from day one, nobody never book them from day one, nobody never see them from day one, right? No for them women, regular man don't want them from day one. And you find yourself in a situation now where guess what happened now? They have to move you up and down because what? The mouth. The mouth that's wagging. The mouth that's moving up and down. You put yourself in that situation there. So any little freedom where you have, they're taking away your freedom because of you, not because of anybody. No for we sometimes may go and say we're untouchable and whatever it is and so. But you cannot sit in the eyes of laws. And while you sit in the eyes of law, you're sitting there and make the, the, the system look like some why the system feel. All right, people. So let me know how you guys feel about this in the comment section. And as I say, a lot of persons are speculate, say, you know, that's why we now see certain posts on his Instagram page. Because if we go up on him page, we don't realize it's over a month now, no post no make. Is it my people? But let me know what you think about this in the comment section. I'm going to just move on to the next topic. So the next thing I want to talk about, Zine people, is TJ being bashed by a lot of people because him big up Alkaline. Now, to be honest, me not see the big deal in it. You understand? But I can understand why a lot of persons is shocked because obviously in the past, TJ has been accused of taking shots at Alkaline. So when people see my big him up now, enough people feel like say my big friend and this and that. But a lot of persons are complaining because of I believe in the same video TJ never big up um, Vibes Cartel. You understand? So if you big up Alkaline and you no big up Vibes Cartel, then of course you know say some people are going to get hurt, them feelings are going You don't know how people stay ready, you understand? But also TJ big up um, Popcorn, him big up Idonia, him big up couple artists well. But for me personally, I feel like say, TJ does a change certain things and him not take program. I feel like say, people did a try to program him certain way and I tell him basically if you pick a side. And right now I feel like the TJ does want to work with artists in general and that's the reason why he might big up Alkaline. I could be wrong because I see some people have said that TJ put out album and he want the vendetta fans them to support him album. That's why he do it. I don't really know people saying but TJ seem like from him cut him here and he might work with Sharon Burke Agency. It just seem like he might move on a positive path and him just want to do music and just do the writing. You see my people? But for those of you who don't see the clip where my big up Alkaline, I'm going to play it now and then I'm going to come finish what I have to say. You see my people? So listen this. Big up Mavado. Big up Alkaline. Big up Idonia. Big up Governor. Big up Six. Big up Riding King. Big up Tamani. Big up Mavado. Big up Alkaline. Big up Idonia. Big up Governor. Big up Six. Big up Riding King. Big up Tamani. Yeah man, so as I say, it seems like TJ is on a positive part, so I don't see why people are bash him and I say this and that about him, you understand? I mean, nothing wrong if the man big up Alkaline, Una act like say Alkaline and a bad artist, a bad, bad artist, you see what I say? And even though that is going against the grid because we see where a lot of persons big up Alkaline and them end up being hated by a lot of persons, you understand? Like even CM Iowa and Intense, them big up Alkaline and obviously them get hated by a lot of persons in the industry. Industry and out of the industry by fans or haters, you'd call them. Yes, my people, but let me know when you think about this. And also, let me know if you feel like this is a strategic move from TJ for actually big up Alkaline or when you feel like it's actually genuine and him just want the music, maybe even do a song with Alkaline in the future. Yes, my people, let me know in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Dancehall Queen Spice bigging up Jada Kingdom after she signed her contract. Yes, my people, and yesterday it was revealed that Jada Kingdom signed with a New York based record label called Republic Records. Now she also revealed that she has a new manager, Mark Jai and also a new management team called Wide Eye Entertainment. But before me even show no what Spice posted, me go show no a post that Jada Kingdom make on her Instagram page. So she say, wow, this is what I prayed for. God, I love you, trust you, thank you. Hashtag, God is never late. At Versimans, it's safe to say I lost our bet and you told me so. 
LOL, we work so effing hard. This is so personal for us. You made me believe in myself way more than I ever did, and you've been fighting me through everything. I'm happy I didn't give up. Happy I trusted your word. Love you. I'm grateful for you. Thank you. At I am Worldwide Fresh, thank you for always understanding the assignment. You don't F around about me, and I appreciate you for that. We going up. Hashtag money well spent. Enough thanks to my awesome new manager, Mark Jordan, alongside our management team and stuff. You understand, people? And she said, I'm happy. Love you guys. K Mab, let's effing go. You understand, people? So Jada Kingdom definitely feel good and all of that. And Spice jump in at the comment section and say, Yes. Winnings. And we also can see you see in bolt, you know, I put the bless emoji and thing, our respect emoji. And also Spice Jump go over the Jamaica star part for big up Jada Kingdom as well. And in the comment section she said, Congratulations, Twinkle. I'm so proud of you. Hashtag Team Jamaica. You understand, people? So it's definitely a good look. But after Spice post that, <laughs> somebody comment on the Spice post and say, she better than you because you claim to say you're a queen and all no no big label still no one work with you. That's why you keep hating on these upcoming females. You know, star. So even when Spice try to be positive, people always find some way to try to throw her off. You understand? But as I say, I like how Spice actually shows support to her because Jada Kingdom do the same thing and if Spice gets some form of accomplishment, Jada Kingdom are going to be one of the first artists for run go over the comment, you understand? And this are the thing we like for seeing people because how much artists actually repost something where another artist achieve. You can probably count upon one and you understand? So I like when time, you know, the female them are show each other support and even the male them can do it as well, you understand? But let me know what you think about this in the comment section. The veteran artist Bojo Bantan and his website gets accused of scam activities, you understand? And basically Bojo Bantan made a post on his Instagram page promoting his brand, Bojo Bantan brand, you understand? Now that is the picture that was posted. The BB obviously stands for Bojo Bantan. Now basically Bojo Bantan is promoting his website and also his Instagram page shop Bojo Bantan. But an unhappy customer jump in the comment section and accuse Bojo Bantan of scam or scam activities, I should I say. Now the person said, hello Mr. Bojo, I am not really happy with what's going on. I made a shopping on your site online for Bojo Bantan t-shirts on the 6th of February 2021. This is my order number and then put the order numbers in and then say, I have not received my order. This is scam Bojo Bantan. So obviously they must say them order something and I'll know Zane from February and what we're in a right about now, June, right, people? So you can know, say, a couple months. Well, that. Now, Bujubantan page actually responded and said, sorry for the inconvenience. Please check your direct message. So I don't know, people, but at least them respond to the person and actually direct message them, you understand? Now, of course, they know, say, you know, I have no unhappy customer, especially when people are going to say, boy, them service slow, and also, my order something, I'm going to get it. Nobody know want to do that, because if me want to order something now, after reading that comment, I'm not going to bother want to order, because I'm going to say, support the same thing will happen to me. So I hope them hurry up and sort out that, because even though you might have a lot of persons I deal with, nobody know want to wait long, forget nothing when them order it. You understand what I'm saying, people? But I think it might be some glitch. I mean, I find an excuse for them, but, you know, hopefully everything gets sorted out. But anyway, people, leave in the comments and let me know anything about this. So now we're going to talk about dancehall artist and producer Demarco receiving his certified gold plaque as the composer of the rhythm for Charlie Black's song, Party Animal. Now, of course, you know, it's a party animal. That is one of Charlie Black's biggest songs, you understand? So I'm going to run the video where Demarco posts up on his Instagram page. And then I'm going to show you where I'm posting at the, um, in the caption. Is it my people? So check this out. to them see it there see it there oh hard work yeah man so in the caption demarco said bless up charlie black's pop style music party animal certified goal hard work 
this is motivation. I need 100 more of these. Let's go. Move a video out now. Link in bio. You understand? And people, this is definitely a good look. And one thing with them are kind of people, me are telling you, say, yo, you see, if being a dancehall artist don't work out for him, him can always be a producer. Um, yo, the man talented. The man are one of them artists that are producer where those can build a rhythm per spot. You understand, people? And a lot of one of favorite artists are them man that build the rhythm for them. You understand what I mean? Um, and maybe even write songs for them. You never can tell. So I'm glad to say him at least multi-talented because it's not like he is the hottest dancehall artist right about now. So at least him can be a producer if certain things don't work out for him, you understand? And him is, him is a good artist as well, you understand, people? So this is another reason why hard work definitely pays off and whatever you saw, I eat your go reap, you see me? So I want to big up the marker in the comment section. Definitely a good look. Anyway, people, that's it. You know. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. And people, if you're not subscribed already, make sure the notification bell is on all. That way you get notified when I drop a new video. You understand? Bless up on yourself and keep safe. I'm out.